Press what? Oh, so it's still, <coughs> but it's there when we when. You <coughs> yeah, she's not. It doesn't record. Hi, <coughs> <I'm just> Kristen. <coughs> Excuse me. <coughs> These are cool. I like cameras. They're like cool. Hey, what's going on, y'all? I just want to address uh, a question that I've heard come up at least twice in the comment section. Now, I've actually experienced this with with Vyvanse. Well, I'm using Vyvanse, and I'm also taking Wellbutrin. But I've experienced this specifically with Vyvanse. You make a plan to do something and you have all these plans and you're really super excited about doing it, but you don't actually follow through on all of them. And you think to yourself, man, that's why I'm, I'm taking this for ADHD so it can help me to follow through and you know, to, to really accomplish my goals. Now here's the problem. Part of it is behavior. When Wellbutrin and Vyvanse, specifically Wellbutrin, is working in your brain, Wellbutrin is known as an NDIR, or norepinephrine dopamine reuptake inhibitor, NDRI. So what it does, it, I explained this in another video, it actually helps the dopamine to kind of stick around longer in your brain. But understand something, excuse me, it's not so much that the dopamine levels are high just all over your brain because it gets complicated. The dopamine levels, it depends on which pathway it takes. And specifically, there's a pathway that it has to take or it should take to help you to be motivated about things. It's called the mesolimbic pathway. And that pathway, the reason why it's important is because it passes through an area of your brain, the middle of your brain. It's called the nucleus accumbens, reward center. That ba basically kicks on the reward and it gives you the anticipation to do something. But you have to remember something that dopamine is produced in your brain before you do this activity. And it's not so much that it does good, but it's where it goes. And it, it's very important that the neural pathway uh, that it takes or the synapse that it takes goes through the nucleus accumbens. It goes all over the brain. It helps you to do many, many different things. It's not just a feel good thing to have you actually feel good when you cross off a list which is of things that you've done, which is great, but it actually gets you to move. They've done studies on soldiers where you know they've been around gunfire, dopamine levels are elevated in their brains because they gotta move and get out of there, but it motivates you to do things because the person is anticipating harm or injury or death to themselves dopamine says, hey, look, we gotta move and get out of here. But when you anticipate, hey, I'm going to the store, you know, to go get my uh, favorite snack, ice cream, like I like. Well, dopamine levels are raised as well, too. You see a friend, uh, you know, you accomplish something. But what's important, <clears throat> and what the takeaway here is, I want you to understand that you can't control, of course, where it goes, but you can, you, can, you can influence your own brain. And what you can do is do little things to help yourself, especially those of us with ADHD. You make little lists, of course, those lists keep you organized and it keeps you on task, whether it's in your, on your phone or something that you actually write down. What you need to do is cross them off. And as you cross it off, it's a little accomplishment. Your brain anticipates that next cross off because you can see the list. So before you get to the other parts of your list, you've crossed off a simple thing, like, I don't know, call a friend and wish him happy birthday. You know, and the next thing, it, it doesn't even have to necessarily be having anything to do with your task, but there's something that you create this kind of keystone effect where you do one thing and it leads to the next, at least it leads to the, the next. And it has nothing to do so much with medication. That has, it has to do with your motivation level, but it has to be in small increments. And the reason that is because when you shoot little, uh, uh, when you get little things done, it sh your brain shoots, has little dopamine uh, sparks in it, so to speak. You know, dopamine le units, as it were. Dopamine units actually increase in your brain, but they stay longer as you do these little things. So they motivate you to actually act, especially when you have something you can anticipate. Things seem a lot easier to get done when you can actually see the end of it. And that's the science for that. Well, anyway, this is, there's a reason why some of you may feel the same way I felt it. I felt that phenomenon. I've sat down to, to, to use, you know, uh, while I'm taking Vyvanse or Wellbutrin, and I have all these grand plans, but I just get one thing done. Well, the drug is designed to actually keep you focused on one thing and not to be all over the place. That could be part of it, theoretically, that's what I'm gonna go with. But as far as getting things done, even while the dopamine levels are not reuptaken again in your brain, you wanna take advantage of that while they're there and while the reward system is active in your brain, make your list. Small things may not necessarily have to do with what your ultimate goal is, but once you start to accomplish those things, you'll notice a change. All right, I hope that's helped you. This is a little different today, but um, any questions, any comments, disagreements, agreements, anything you have to add, comment section. I'll see you guys in the next video.